Hi everyone. Uh, today I'm going to talk about occurrence of groundwater and rock properties affecting groundwater. This is the second chapter of our course on groundwater hydrology. Okay. First, a little bit of introduction. Uh, as already explained, explained in chapter one, groundwater occurs in many different geological formations, and aquifers are among the most important groundwater bearing formations. Okay. Therefore, the ability of aquifers in storing as well as transporting water are of prime importance to quantify groundwater flow under different boundary conditions, okay? And as a result, it's important to identify how the characteristics of aquifers influence water storage, distribution, and groundwater flow in general. So here, this picture shows uh, an example of fine textured on the right side and coarse textured on the left side, sandy material. This is actually our own research which was published in 2018 in scientific reports, where we look into the how the, if, the texture of sand, and in this chapter you will learn what do we mean by texture. So we have studied how the texture of sand influences the transport properties of sandy media. So therefore, it's important to um, know and to develop quantitative tools to characterize aquifers. Okay, so within this context, the objectives of this uh, chapter is to define some characteristics of natural porous media, for example, soil, such as porosity, density, bulk density, and so on. And then we'll talk about representative elementary volume concept or REV concept. We'll talk about particle size distribution and representation, soil texture classification, the concept of a specific surface area. We'll talk about unsaturated zone, measurement of water content, and, and, and the concept of a storage coefficient, okay? So in this video today, we'll only cover the first item, and in future videos, which will be uploaded to this channel, uh, we will cover other um, part of this chapter, okay? So, uh, soil characteristics. So, soil can be characterized based on the mass, density, and volume of solid, liquid, and air faces contained in the soil sample. So, what do I, what do I mean by that? So, look at, for example, here, it's a 2D sample, okay? This is, again, another uh, results from our, uh, another um, results uh, from our group, which was published in 2012. Uh, here, you see the black color is the sand grain. The, uh, I believe the picture, uh, this picture was captured by synchrotron X-ray tomography, uh, 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 and, and uh, which enabled us basically to look into the phase distribution uh, in sand, uh, in sanding material, which was under drying process. In any case, this picture, the black color is the sand grains, the blue color is the liquid phase and or water, uh, and the uh, white color is the air phase. Okay, uh, or you can as well consider 3D sample. This was again uh, our own result. It was published in 2019 in scientific report. Here, uh, by simulation, we look into the fluid displacement in, in, in 3D rock sample. The blue color is the fluid, and the gray color is the rock sample. Okay, so you have here a solid phase that is the rock, uh, the, the, the liquid phase, and the gas phase or air phase. Okay, so you can represent or you can partition this volume into something like that. You say, okay. Okay, Vs, that is represent the volume of the solid, that's this part of this volume. Another part is the, is, is the liquid phase, let's call it water, okay, but it could be anything else. And then, and then you have as well Va, that is the air phase, okay? So that sentence I said or, or, at top, depending on the basically relationship between this Va, Vw, Vs, and also the mass of different phases, you can define uh, different properties of this porous media, including particle density, bulk density, density, porosity, void ratio, water content, and degree of saturation, okay? And, and we wanted to cover these definitions uh, in this uh, video today. Okay, so first let's start with uh, particle density. Particle density or, or uh, density of the solid phase of a given material is, defi is, is defined by rho s, that is the particle density or solid phase density divided is equal to ms, that is the, uh, the mass of the solid divided by vs, that is the volume of the solid. Okay, another quantity is bulk density is defined as the ratio of dry mass of soil. Okay, what do I mean by dry mass of soil? That means, let's say if you have wet soil, you put it in the oven, you dry it, and then you put it on a balance, you measure the weight. Okay, that it will be the dry mass of soil divided by the total sample volume. So rho B, that is the bulk density, is equal to ms. 
that is the dry mass of soil divided by the total volume, that is the Vt. A total volume is equal to basically Vs plus Vw plus Va. Okay, so porosity, which is an important uh, characteristics of a porous medium, of a porous medium is defined as the ratio of the pore volume okay, uh, to uh, total sample volume. So epsilon, that is the porosity, is equal to Vf, uh, that is the volume of the um, uh, basically fluid, uh, because the here, uh, or the, the, the water, uh, Vw, plus Va, air, uh, air and water summation of the volume will be equal to Vf, okay? So Va plus Vw uh, divided by V total, which is equal to Vs plus Vw plus Va. So Porosity is equal to Vf divided by Vt equal to Va plus Vw divided by Vs plus Va plus Vw, okay? Another uh, important uh, quantity is water content. And water content, you can measure, you can present it in two ways, gravimetric water content or mass basis water content, which is mass of water, Mw, divide, uh, divided by the oven dry mass of soil, that is Ms. So theta M is Mw divided by Ms. And another way of uh, presenting water content is volumetric water content, theta V, that is uh, volume of water, Vw, divided by the total volume. And total volume is Vs plus Va plus Vw. So theta M and theta V. There are metric water content and volumetric water content. Okay, and there is another quantity called water saturation that or degree of saturation, which is the volume of water to volume of void, okay, or, or volume of the fluid basically, and which is air and water, right? So that will be Vw, that is volume of water divided volume of void or volume of fluid, uh, uh, which is Vf, which is equal to Va plus Vw. Here, if you divide everything by Vt, that is the total volume, right, uh, you get Vw divided by Vt is equal to theta V, that is the definition of the volumetric water content, divided by Vf divided by Vt, that's the definition of the porosity. So you already derived another equation, that is saturation is equal to water the volumetric water content divided by um, uh, porosity. Okay, and as you can see here in this equation, the saturations, the value of the saturation varies from zero in a completely dry sample to one in a saturated soil. Why? Because here, you see here, uh, if the Vw is equal to zero, right, the saturation will be zero. And so this is a, like, a, a, you see here, uh, the black color is the sand grain, the white color is the air phase, there is no liquid phase. That means Vw is equal to zero, the system is completely dry, uh, and, and when, when the system is completely dry, Vw is equal to zero, therefore saturation is equal to zero. On the other hand, uh, the, the, if Va is equal to zero, Right, if the, uh, there is no air in the system, so Vw divided by Vw basically will be equal to one, and that's the maximum volume, uh, uh, maximum value of the saturation, which is this example. You see here, the blue color is the liquid phase, and the and the black color is the solid phase. So therefore, the saturation values uh, ranges from zero to one in the case of completely dry to uh, fully saturated system, uh, respectively. Okay. Another definition is the void ratio, and the void ratio is defined as the volume of the uh, void volume or volume of the fluid divided by Vs, that is volume of the solid. So in other words, you can write Vf divided by volume of solids is equal to total volume minus volume of fluid, right? And if now you divide everything by Vt, right? So Vf divided by Vt will be definition of porosity, Vt divided by Vt is 1, Vf divided by Vt is epsilon. So epsilon, the porosity divided by 1 minus porosity will be equal to void ratio, okay? So using these basic equations, you can derive additional equations. For example, you can derive theta V, that is the gravimet uh, volumetric water content, is equal to gravimetric water content times rho B divided by rho W. In fact, you can derive this equation yourself. Let me... See if I can, yeah, I can this runs now. So the, the question was the question is theta v is equal to theta m times rho b divided by rho w. Okay, so how can you drive this equation? So here in instead of theta m, we know theta m is equal to mass of water divided by mass of solid. Okay, that's the definition of the gravimetric water content times rho b, that is the bulk density, which is equal to mass of solid divided by total volume, you already have it in your slide, divided by rho, rho W, which is the density of water, which is mass of water, divided by volume of water, okay? And that will be equal to 
MW, right, divided by MS times MS at top, this times this, VW divided by VT times MW. Okay, so here MS is out, MW is out, so that is equal to VW divided by VT. And by definition, this is equal to theta V, if you look at your slides, right? So basically we showed here that the theta M times rho B divided by rho, rho W is equal to theta V, okay? There's another equation, for example, you can write porosity is equal to rho S minus rho B divided by rho S. That is the, uh, that is the density of the solid minus bulk density divided by basically the density of the solid phase or particle density, which is equal to one rho S divided by rho S is one rho B minus rho B divided by rho S. You can as well uh, uh, derive this equation yourself. So here I can show it to you how to do that, I can show how to do that. So here the equation is uh, porosity is equal to uh, one minus rho B divided by uh, um, rho S. Okay, so that one you can write here, one minus, in instead of rho B, I write MS divided by uh, VT, that's the definition of the bulk density, divided by, in instead of rho S, I write MS divided by volume of the solid, that is Vs, okay? So that will be equal to one minus, okay, Ms times Vs, that is Ms times Vs, divided by Vt times Ms, right? So Ms is out here, therefore this one will be equal to one minus Vs divided by Vt, which is equal to Vt, that will be Vt minus Vs, okay? So the total volume minus volume of the solid phase that gives you volume of the fluid or void volume, Vf divided by Vt. And by definition, if you look at the previous slide, the previous slide, you will see Vf divided by Vt is defined as the um, porosity. Okay, so therefore you here you prove porosity is equal to one minus rho B divided by rho S, okay? So now there's an example here. Let's solve this example. Example is the diameter of a cylindrical container is 0.12 meter and its height is 0.28 meter packed with sand particles, okay? So you have a cylindrical container packed with uh, sand particles and you have the dimension of the cylinder. So the question has four parts. The first part is what was the gravimetric water content if the wet mass of the particles was, were, was five kilo? A kilogram and the dry mass was four kilogram. So you have the wet mass, imagine you put that in an oven and then you dry it, you measure it again, that now is four kilo. The question is, what is the gravimetric water content? Uh, gravimetric water content. And the, another part of the question is, what was the bulk density of the sand sample? Another one is, what's the volumetric water content? And then uh, the last part of the question is, what's the porosity, what's the void ratio, what's the degree of saturation? and assume sand particle density is 2,650 kilogram per cubic meter, okay? So let's first solve the uh, first part of the question that was gravimetric water content, which is equal to MW divided by MS. You have this equation. So mass of the water, so the wet mass of the soil or sand particle was five kilogram. The dry mass was four kilogram. Therefore, the mass of the water is five minus four, five minus four divided by MS, that is four. So that will be one divided by four, which will be 25% or 0.25. That will be the gravimetric water content. Another part of the question was about bulk density and rho B we know is equal to MS divided by VT. MS is the mass of the solid that is four kilogram divided by the total volume, okay? And the total volume of the sample, so you know it is a cylindrical sample, okay? You have the height, given in the question and you have the diameter, 2R, R is the radius and you have it in the question, it's given in the question, so V is equal to A times H, that is A, the, the area is pi R squared times the height, okay, which will be equal to pi times, this is given in the question and the height has been given in the question. So the total, or the, the volume of that uh, sample or total volume is equal to 3.2 times 10 to the minus three cubic meter, and that will be your VT. Okay, uh, total volume. Okay, so that will be rho B is equal to four divided by 3.2 times 10 to the minus three, which will be equal to 1,250 kilogram per cubic meter. So that is the bulk density. The third part of the question was about uh, volumetric water content. And for the volumetric uh, water content, you have theta V is equal to theta M 
that is uh, gravimetric water content times rho b divided by rho w. So gravimetric water content, you already calculated calculated in the first part of this question, which was 25% times the bulk density that is to calculate it in part two, that is 1,250 divided by the density of water, which is 1,000. So, and if you do the calculation, you get 0.31 or 31% as the uh, volumetric water content. And the last part of the question was about porosity, void ratio, and water saturation. And for all these three, you have equations already, uh, uh, you have equation uh, in the lecture. So for the porosity, porosity is equal to one minus rho b divided by rho s. We proved that, they, uh, we, we obtained that, that relationship, which is equal to one minus, in instead of rho b, I put 1,250 divided by rho s. This is, this is 2,650, which will be 0.53 uh, uh, or 53%. That will be the porosity of your sample. In terms of void ratio, the equation is epsilon divided by one minus epsilon. Epsilon is the porosity. We just need to plug this one here, that is 53% divided by 1 minus 53%, which will be 1.11, uh, 1 point, sorry, 1.13, and that's the void ratio. And in terms of the saturation, we just derived that equation as well in the lecture, that saturation is equal to volumetric water content theta V divided by epsilon, that is the porosity, which is equal to 0.31, theta V we calculated here, divided by porosity, which we calculated here, which will be equal to 0.58 or 58%. Okay, and that is the solution uh, to this uh, question. And that concludes the first part of um, uh, the first the first part of the uh, this uh, this chapter. And um, I will we will as as uh, explained at the beginning. We will co cover other parts of the uh, other parts of this chapter uh, in in future videos. Thank you.